Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I have a new person to introduce you to in my list of preferred craftsmen. This one is another Kydex sheath maker. His name's Doug Wilson, and his company is Yellowhawk Custom Kydex. Now, when I first looked at the pictures on his, of his Kydex, I wasn't quite sure what I thought about it, because it's a lot different from what I had before. But once I got it in my hand and saw it up close, I think his work is freaking amazing. Uh, take a look real quick. I've got it here on my VanQuest pack because I always try to do something different with all my different Kydex guys. Uh, so they're not all making me the same thing. I didn't have a Kydex sheath for Jessica that I could mount onto a pack or anything like that. So that's what I asked him to make. And he says that this model, this setup that I'm about to show you is called his SEER model. Runs about 99 bucks, made from 0 0.08 thick Kydex. And this is a, a Cryptek Typhon pattern. Looks really cool. I'm not really that into the Cryptek stuff, but I don't mind the Typhon, the dark one. I think it looks pretty cool. But anyway, enough talking. You want to see the sheath. So let's check it out. Okay, I just wanted to get another good shot of this mounted on my pack. Works really, really well. And as I'll show you here shortly, this thing is just smooth. Whatever this printed Kydex is he's using, this stuff is phenomenal. Uh, I, I really like it. I want to get more stuff made. So it's not easy to impress me because I'm already working with some of the best Kydexers out there, but it's pretty impressive. Now Doug is an ex-Special Forces guy, a survival instructor. He's been making Kydex for about 15 years, so he knows what he's doing. This, he didn't just start doing this last week. Now let's get this thing off the pack and get a close-up. So here's Jessica's new clothes. As you can see, just the attention, the detail, the smoothness. Everything on this is just top-notch. He's got several options you can go for. Here he's got the built-in photon light and a fire steel loop. Now, like I said, I asked him to make this a pack mount. So on the back, we've got one Blade Tech Molly Lock. So you just push that back. It's kind of hard to do with the camera. And that releases it. So you can very easily slide this onto a pack or take it off with little to no problem. Uh, it came dressed up a little bit more. This paracord was actually all looped fancy down here at the bottom, but I thought this looked really good on Jessica in this sheath, so I went ahead and took that off and turned it into my adjustable lanyard. The retention on this thing is excellent. It's got a, a generous uh, push-off for the thumb, and it just, if you can hear that, Sounds really smooth. This thing is like butter smooth inside. I mean, it feels great. I can't, I can't. Usually, Kydex sheaths have kind of like this plasticky, like clack sound when you snap them in. Maybe it's because this is thicker, but it, it just it feels like it's it's grip it's gripping it tight, but it's still a little bit soft. I guess it's kind of. A soft feel to it. Now what I like about having this is I, it allows me to put it on a couple different packs. So let me show you one other good way I can use this. So a lot of times if I'm just going out to do a quick walk in the woods or a scout or something like that, I'll have my deluxe five-piece kit and I'll throw it in my uh, haversack from the Hidden Woodsman. And if you recall the Hidden Woodsman video, it has a hawk loop sewed on the reverse side. So, of course I got this all twisted up now. <laughs> so that actually works really well with that 
molly lock where I can just lock that onto the back of my Hidden Woodsman haversack. I mean, it slides a little bit, but it's nice and secure. It's not gonna come off. So basically anything like this, you can attach it. I mean, everything has molly loops on it anymore. The other thing that's nice, I found, it's like, well, what if I'm working and I want to stick it on my belt. Well, I can still slide that in my belt and it, it just, it almost rides like a 45 degree cross draw. So yeah, I mean, I could put it vertically if I wanted and then if I'm working, I can just kind of cant it that way. So just because it has the, the molly clip on it does not mean I can't put it on my belt. I can. Yeah. It also did have this little S-Biner type clip attached to it, which I didn't know where this was until I just set this down to get this shot and found it on the ground. But, I mean, just take a look at that up close. And he can do solid colors too, and you know, he likes to do custom design for each individual person. So basically you talk to him, say this is what I want, this is how I want to carry it, this is what I want it to do. And he prefers that you send your knife to him, as most custom Kydexers do. I mean the guys that really care about the attention to detail, everything is always better if it is molded to your specific exact knife because there can always be little differences and things like that. Now, what, well, what I was referring to, you can kind of see the impression of the knife in this shot. So that's what kind of threw me when I first looked at the pictures. I thought it just looked like it was too much material or, any, or something like that. But once I actually got it in hand, I thought the way that he did this and the profile and the shape actually looks really, really good to me. So I like it. I'm impressed. If you're interested in getting a sheath done with him, like I said, the way he's got this one set up, he said these usually would run about 99 bucks. And I think, I don't know if I mentioned it, this one in particular is 0 0.08 inch thick uh, Kydex, so it's the thick stuff. And he can do the 0 0.09, but that only comes in the solid colors. Uh, and I actually prefer the thicker Kydex to the thinner stuff. I just think it feels better, better retention. Knock it off, wind chime. Good God. Are we getting back to this whole uh, noise interruption thing again? I thought we got away from that. <laughs> so, uh, his email is onehawk at hotmail.com, and Yellowhawk Custom Kydex also has a Facebook page where you can see a lot of other pictures of his work. And any other contact information I come across, I'm going to be putting here in the video screen. So by the time I say it, you will see it. Let's get another shot at the reverse side. So there you go guys, that is another prepared my 101 approved Kydexer. His attention to detail and the quality of his work is completely top shelf. I mean, he's up there with the best of the best, in my opinion, based on what I'm seeing right here and how finely, I mean, it's, everything is just perfectly polished. I see no flaws in it whatsoever. So check him out if you're interested in something like this. I like that his style is different from the other guys. Uh, I try really hard when I bring on new Kydexers to make sure that their work doesn't really look like the other guy's work or that guy's work doesn't look like this guy's work. They all have their own kind of individual style and flair. So I'm getting a collection of people. So. No matter what it is you're looking for or what you like your Kydex to look like, I probably got somebody that can make what you want. So 
Here's one more. Anyway, I'm Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Uh, details can also be found in the description box below. And check me out on preparemy101.com. That is my Amazon store, which really, really helps support the channel. And I haven't mentioned it in a while, but if you're planning on making any kind of big purchase on Amazon, other than the usual survival stuff, uh, you can send me an email, preparemy101 at gmail.com, or message me through the Facebook page. Tell me what you want. Send me a link to what you want to buy on Amazon. I can generate you a link. It'll cost the same. It'll still be Amazon. Nothing will be different except I will get a piece of that from Amazon, which will help keep the channel going. And I appreciate everybody that's done that so far. That really helps out a lot. Otherwise, guys, I got more videos to do, so I'll see you then.